The DoMore PLC P2P Modbus scanner communication within the DoMore Designer software offers a powerful and streamlined solution for your integrated Modbus devices into your PLC system. With its advanced features and seamless integration capabilities, this Modbus application empowers you to unlock new levels of efficiency and productivity in your industrial automation applications. A peer-to-peer -peer P2P service is a decentralized platform whereby two individuals interact directly with each other without intermediation by a third party. One of the key advantages of the DoMore PLC Modbus scanner communication is its ability to establish peer-to-peer or P2P communication with Modbus devices. This means the module can directly communicate with Modbus devices on the same network without a supervisory control system. This streamlined communication process allows for faster data exchange and reduces the complexity of the overall system architecture. We will demonstrate how the DoMore Designer Simulator PLC communicates with the BRIX or BRX DoMore PLC. This will be done via the Modbus IO scanner in the programming software. The Modbus TCP protocol will read and write 100 discrete bits and registers. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. What is Modbus? Modbus is a communication protocol widely used in industrial applications due to its simplicity and efficiency. The media or wiring used depends on the actual type of Modbus protocol used. Serial communication will usually use RS-232 or RS-45 media. This Modbus protocol is RTU or ASCII. All devices must have the same wiring and Modbus protocol before communication can occur. Ethernet communication will use an RJ45 media. The CAT Ethernet cable used will depend on the actual network and location. Modbus TCP protocol is used on this network. Modbus is a master or client to slave server protocol. In a serial environment, there can only be one master or client. The slaves or servers will respond only when the data is requested. In an Ethernet environment, the client server works the same way. However, because of the OSI physical model, multiple clients can be used. This ensures that when multiple commands are received simultaneously, they are handled in order. What are Modbus addresses? Four types of addresses referenced in Modbus devices are coil, discrete output, discrete input or status input, input register, and holding register. It is important to find out the Modbus addresses that are available at all of the slave or server units on your network. The Do More series of PLCs use a fixed dedicated Modbus memory area. This it can be seen in the following chart. In our example, we will read and write 100 discrete bits of information and 100 registers. Using the DoMore Modbus registers, we will read 100 MI discrete input contacts and 100 MIR input registers. We will also write 100 MC discrete output coils and 100 MHR output holding registers. This is all from the Modbus TCP client PLC, which is the PLC simulator. Programming the Modbus Server PLC We will start with programming the Modbus Server PLC. This is the physical BX-DM1E-18ED13 BRX PLC. Start the Do More Designer software. Ensure that the PLC is powered up and connected using an Ethernet cable. Select the online icon on the main ribbon menu. The Select PLC connection window will be displayed. All devices that can be connected will automatically be displayed. You will see our PLC IP address and physical MAC address. If you are unsure if this is the controller you want to program, select the Blink and Refresh button. This will blink the air LED on the CPU yellow for 15 seconds. A warning message will appear. Select Yes to start flashing the CPU LED.
Once we verify that we have the correct PLC to program, we will go to the edit mode and place an end statement instruction for our logic. Select System Configuration from the main menu, PLC, or under the Tools menu in the Project Browser. The System Configuration window will now be displayed. This will show you the IP address and ensure that we have selected the Modbus TCP Server option for this PLC. Transfer and save the Modbus Server PLC setup and program. Programming the Modbus Client PLC. We can now program our Modbus TCP Client PLC. This is the controller that will handle all the communication on the network. Select the new icon on the main menu ribbon of the DoMore Designer programming software. The new offline project window will be displayed. Select the DoMore simulator and name the project. Select OK. Like the server PLC, we will have an end statement for our ladder logic program. Select the do more slash sim icon on the main menu ribbon. This will start the do more simulator. The PLC simulator will run independently of the do more designer programming software. Returning to the programming software, we can select the write PLC icon on the main menu ribbon. This will transfer our program to the simulator. Select system configuration from the main menu PLC or under the tools menu in the project browser. The system configuration window will now be displayed. This will show you the IP address. The IP address will be the same as the computer running the PLC simulator. Select Modbus I.O. Scanner under the I.O. Configuration menu on the left side. Select Enable Modbus I.O. Scanner. This will allow us to use the scanner. On the right side of the window you will see two options. Add device from profile will show you devices that have been pre-programmed so you can communicate with different equipment. We demonstrated this before when communicating with the Solo Process Temperature Controller. Select the Add Blank Device. Enter the IP address of the server PLC. We will also change the read and write intervals to the minimum time. This is one millisecond. Select add com. Select the read inputs and then select the add field button.
Set the bit count to 100. We can now specify where we want to put the data. Enter MI1. We can now enter the other communication fields for our Modbus scanner. Read inputs 10001 to 10100 and store at MI1 to MI100. Write coils 00001 to 00100 from MC1 to MC100. Read input registers 30001 to 30100 and store at MIR1 to MIR100. And write registers 40001 to 40100 from MHR1 to MHR100. Once we have all the data, select OK. A message warning will be displayed indicating that the system configuration has changed. Select OK and download the program to the client PLC simulator. Monitoring the P2P Modbus TCP communication. Ensure that both the PLC and the simulator are running. We can now monitor the P2P Modbus TCP communication by monitoring the scanner. Call the Modbus scanner monitor by selecting it from the main menu debug. The Modbus scanner monitor will show you the bit flags, errors, and counts. This will help to ensure that communications are working correctly. Once the communications have been established, we can now go ahead and test the information being exchanged. Testing the network. We can test our network and the information being exchanged using the data view option of each of the PLCs. Here is the do more server data view window. We will see that we have monitored the first five bits and registers. Here's the new more client data view window. We are monitoring the same five bits and registers. As we change the server bits MI1 to MI5 and registers MIR1 to MIR5, they will have seen in the client bits MI1 to MI5 and registers MIR1 to MIR5. As you change the client bits MC1 to MC5, 
and register MHR1 to MHR5, they will be seen in the server bits MC1 to MC5 and registers MHR1 to MHR5. The Do More PLC P2P Modbus Scanner Communication provides a versatile and adaptable solution for your communication needs. It offers seamless integration with the DoMore PLC platform, allowing you to leverage the full capabilities of your PLC system for your Modbus communication requirements. This Modbus scanner integration simplifies configuration and setup, making it easy to get up and running quickly with Modbus devices. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.